Hmm? Click here to get true power? What does that mean? Oh, 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 oh. Let's go, God! Oh, oh. <laughs> All right, David, it's your turn. What is the largest animal in the ocean? Uh, giant squid? Oh, uh, sorry, that's incorrect. The answer is blue whale. Man, David, how stupid can you be? It's open. You! Oh, hey, Mr. Chippier, what's up? Oh, I'll tell you what's up. So, I was in my office earlier today when... You're being sued for copyright infringement. What? Oh. What does it have to do with me? I didn't explain what it was for yet. Oh, right. Anyway, what happened? So, remember that little stunt you pulled where you brought a bunch of monsters from a video game into the real world? Yeah? Well, turns out, I'm getting sued for copyright infringement because of that. Well, I mean, you gave him a TV show, so I don't see what that has to do with me. Hey, you're the one who brought him into the real world. You're going down with me, okay? If I'm going down, you're going with me. Oh, come on. Why do I have to go? Because this is where both have fault here. I may have given them the show, but you're the one who brought them to life in the first place. Now, how'd you even do it anyway? Ah, well, uh, my neighbor died, so in his will he left me this machine that can bring things into the real world. And, uh, luckily it, uh, basically got vaporized last time we used it. All that's left is this one random piece, and to be honest, I don't even know what it- <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me! This is the part that actually does it! Oh, are you kidding me? What just happened? Hopefully nothing. I don't think there's any more characters left for in that game cartridge, and... We interrupt this program for some breaking news. Yesterday's release of the new DLC for the hit new fighting game has been a massive success. Did that just say yesterday? Yes. And that game auto-updates. And I think I saw Eric on it yesterday. Um, excuse me for one minute. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, I said it. That wasn't a potty mouth. That was a potty at a gas station bathroom mouth. Jeez. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so, I have to go to court, but also, I have to get all the monsters. Great. Just, just, just lovely. <sighs> Why well, not just pawn it off on one of your friends like you always do? I can't. Eric's with his friends. All right, we're here. <laughs> I still don't know why you keep insisting on riding in the trunk. Because it's comfy. I don't know where Catherine is. Ooh, I do. Uh, she and her sisters are on the hit interview show. All right, now how about some frost flakes? Not frosted flakes, frost flakes. <laughs> you think I can't handle it? Of course I can. <laughs> <sighs> Whoa, I've been cool-headed, but never like this. Eh? Uh... What about your siblings? Ain't they superheroes? I can't. They're on a diplomatic mission in some galaxy that's like a hundred million light-years away. Okay, what about the puppet? Uh, he went to Vegas. Hit me. Hit me. Dude, you already went over 21. I said hit me! Well, is there anyone else you could ask? Because our trial starts in an hour. Okay, okay. Oh, wait, I know. I'll be right back. You better be. I am not doing this alone. <sighs> okay, so that's the story. We're being sued for copyright infringement. I don't know what to do. And uh, look, it's just kind of a disaster. Okay, okay. So could you go hunt down the monsters, please? I'm mm, I'm sorry. I can't. What? Why not? Because it's time for my annual dream catalog, where I have to catalog every dream that's been held over the past year. Ouch, that sounds rough. Yeah, it ain't peaches and cream. You're only... So, you said you're being sued, huh? Yes. Hmm. Well, I think it can help you with that part. I know someone who owes me a favor. Oh, you can help us out of our legal troubles? Great, great, great. Ugh. Well, Vincent helped me with my legal troubles at least, but I don't know how I'm gonna solve this monster problem. What could I possibly... Wait. Of course. Land of Myths. I'll just get the monsters to stop the monsters. Hope they're still not mad at me. No. Oh, come on! Why? 
because this place you brought us to, it sucks. We don't fit in with any of the other monsters, this place is boring as tar, and there's nothing to do here. Those last two are the same thing. We don't care. Point is, I'm not doing it. Come on. Please, I am begging you. What do you, what, what do you want from it? What do you want from me? I'll, I'll do anything. Anything? Alright, I cleaned every toilet in your house of nothing but my toothbrush. Will you do it now? Alright. <sighs> Thank you so much. Alright, don't get all mushy. <sighs> Alright, I gotta go. I gotta go. Uh, here's some information about the monsters. Go nuts. Okay. Alright, listen up, monsters. We got other monsters to hunt down. Now, there are 12 new monsters to catch. However, this update, they've added assist characters. What does that mean? It means they're characters you can't play as, but instead you can summon them to do attacks for you. Ha. Ah. Now, I'm gonna split into a few groups to take them down, okay? Okay. Gil, Christy, Captain, you guys go together since you guys an ocean guy. I will go with Latran. Cyrus, Dine, Viren, you two are together since you're a tech-themed, I guess. Osiris, Dusk, you two are together since you're immortal. Grimmel, Zaxstar, Pump, Flup, or whatever your name is, you guys are together since you're the most mentally stable people. Mighty and Frosty, you guys are together since your guy seems like he would require someone with your guys' skills. Arithicus, Amelius, you guys are together. Umbra, Henry, you two go together because... Yes. Goober, Vermin, you two are going to the desert. Godfather, Skeleton, you guys are good. You guys are together since you're both masters of firearms. Boogity Boo, Puppet Man, you guys are together. Fieldwalker, you're by yourself. What? Hey, come on, man. I, I can't pair off everyone. Yeah, whatever. Uh, what about me? Yeah, and me. Huh. That's actually every monster, it seems. Well, well, everyone, spread out and wait. What? What's wrong? He's back. Who's back? Lucistopheles. What? How did he get out? That was a pretty bad video I put him into. There was no way he could have gotten out. Oh, believe me. Demons are tricky. Of course he found a way out. Of course he did. You know what? I'll take him. And I'm coming with you because I have nothing better to do. Alright then. Now, monsters. Let's show these guys what real monsters are capable of. So now, let's be scary. <laughs> You find anything, Latran? Hmm. I smell something this way. Smells... evil. What does evil smell like? Like tomatoes. Gross. Alright, so... Tell me everything we need to know about this guy. Alright, his name is Craig P. Pasta. He was a guy who made a deal with a demon named Oglaz. And apparently that demon now uses him as a pawn to kill people in order to appease him and give them his, and give them their blood and souls. All right then, I think I could take him. I mean, how tough could he be? <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Ah, you must be Craig. Yes, maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. Who wants to know? We're here to take you in because we need to gather up a bunch of monsters. Take me in? That doesn't sound very friendly. <laughs> ah, but maybe if you beat me in a fight, I'll come with you. But let's make it a little interesting. You win, I go with you. I win, I get your immortal souls, and I get to drain you of your blood. Hey, listen, pal, I'm a vampire, and I'm the only blood drainer around here. You got it? I think we should take this deal, honestly. What? But it'll cost us our souls if we lose. Oh, come on. We're a two-on-one. You're a vampire, and I'm a werebeast. There's no way we can lose, because we are some of the coolest monsters around. We accept your deal, Mr. Cray. Hmm. <laughs> Very well. You see, Carmella, it's all about thinking it through. You just gotta realize some things about your opponent, and... What? What are you staring at? Oh, you're a big boy. <laughs> everyone, stay vigilant. We're keeping our eyes out for a shark. <laughs> a shark? I've killed plenty of sharks. They're just dime a dozen brutes who have basically no formal combat training whatsoever. They just rush into everything, and then you stab them with your trident, and then you rip their head off, and you pull out their teeth one by one. <laughs> 
Oh, what? How else are you supposed to kill a shark, then? I ain't scared of no shark. I'll grind his skin. <laughs> Into what? I don't know. I'll just grind it. <laughs> well, we should be careful anyway. If he's from our game, he probably has some sort of fantastical ability. Oh, relax. I've got my army with me. All three of them. It should be bigger, but apparently no one else had an in-game model, so these three are the only one who came back. And I don't even know any of their names. To be fair, neither do we. Ugh. Alright, for simplicity's sake, you'll be, uh, Mermaid 1, Mermaid 2, and Mermaid 3. There. Those are terrible names. I ain't good with names, okay? Okay. My name is literally Gil, and I'm a Gilman. What do you want from me? Eh, whatever. Hey, yo, mackerel! Have you seen any shark around here that are abnormal anyway? Well, I saw a shark whose head jettisons out from the sides of his head. That's a hammer head! Oh, that's what they're called. I've just been calling them boomerang heads. Boomerang heads? Well, if you think about it, that is kind of a better name, since if you think about it, the head does look more like a boomerang than a hammer. Oh, shut up! No, we talking about any sharks that have any sort of magical abilities, or any sort of uh, deadly powers, or anything like that. Oh... I'm still convinced whale sharks are actually from another planet, but don't tell anyone I said that, okay? Ugh, you're useless. Oh, come on, what do you want from- Whoa, where'd you come from? <sighs> Alright, it's butt whooping time, Mr. Shark. What are you gonna do about it? <sighs> what the heck? <laughs> get him! Ah, get him off! Get him off! Get him off! Ah, you scurvy dogs of the sea! Ah, 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 hey, hey, stop fighting there! Ah, 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 retreat! Retreat! Ah, ah, ah. And Edward, this creature could be anywhere. She could pop up at any time. So stay on your toes. Well, I'm a ghost. I don't have toes, but you do, so you know what I mean. <sighs> what is it? Ah! <laughs> A sentient statue of a gorgon. This should be fun. Yeah, stick it to them. Oh, look at that. She controls rocks. How how wonderful. Oh, stand still. Stand still, get her off. I said stand still. And stop, stop shape shifting. Ha, you missed. Right, Edward? 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 <laughs> you monster. You turned him to stone? Well, you may have turned him to stone, but you still have to deal with me. <laughs> All right then, Queensberry rules. <laughs> All right, let's do this then. All right, so we're after this Memlin guy. <laughs> what is he anyway? He's a gremlin. Oh, his name is Memlin, and he's a gremlin. Ah, uh, yes, and I'm Melf the Elf, and you're Flizzard the Lizard, and he's Bailey and the Alien. Look, I, I, coming up with names is hard, okay? I'm sure that the developers, or whoever created him, were probably all like, Oh, yeah, we're running out of names, I can't think of a good name for a gremlin, and... Yeah, okay? Okay. Hmm, so how do we find him? Well, let's see. He's a gremlin, so he's probably going to be attracted to large aircraft devices. I think all we have to do is keep an eye out for any reports of hijacked planes or... You mean like that one? <laughs> let's fly. Hey! Whoever did that, you just interrupted Aerosmith! Never interrupt Aerosmith. <laughs> Looks like I got a bogey. Give it up, Meblin. There's three of us and only one of you. <laughs> oh, only one of me, he says. All right, then. <laughs> Guess I need to increase my numbers. <laughs> All right, boys, you know what to do. Go, 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 go! Uh, are there multiple Memlins? That can't be right. There's only supposed to be one of... <laughs> Hi. What? Get off of my ship! What? Uh, uh, what the? 
<laughs> Ooh, this looks fun. Hey, you stop that! Hey, get off my dragon, you stupid gremlin, Carl! Get out of my sled, you can't be here! Hey, stop digging through that sack! Ooh, what's this? No, do not touch that! Oh, why not? Because it is a... Listen up, everyone. We're on the lookout for, uh... We're on the lookout for a guy who can look like anything. Have any of you seen someone who matches that description? Huh? <sighs> We're looking for a guy who can look like anyone. Does that sound like anyone you recognize? Hmm. Well, that depends. What does his base form look like? He's supposed to look like a large chameleon. Large chameleon, eh? Does he have teeth like this? Yes. Does he, uh, have long fingernails? Like these? Yeah. Hmm. Nope, sorry, haven't seen him. Oh, you think it's funny to mess with me, huh? What, what do I look like to you? A clown? Do I amuse you? <laughs> a little. Ugh. Skeleton man, you know what to do. <laughs> oh, a gun? Well, okay then. Fire away. <laughs> well, you heard him. Shoot! <laughs> that bullet went right through him. <laughs> You didn't really think I was here, did you? I'm actually over here. What the? Huh? Huh? Oh, no, no, no. Or maybe I'm over here. Or here. Or here. Or here. Or here. Or here. Or here. What? What are you, a duplicator? No, duplication would imply that there's another me going around. But there's only one me, you see. It's just that I have a great control over light. I can bend it to my whim and make you see whatever I want you to see. So you see, you will never find the real me. Because how can you find me if you don't even know where I am? <laughs> Later, suckers. <laughs> Gosh darn it, how are we supposed to find him? Alright, my tiny horse, who are we up against? Ugh, don't call me that. Anyway, we're up against Professor Heckle. Ah, Professor, eh? I could take him on, I could take on all the eggheads in the world if I wanted to. Mm, I just, just, just jab them. Yeah, just gotta break their glasses and they run away like little babies. <laughs> oh, where could we find him? Well, he's a professor, so he might be drawn to libraries or colleges or schools or things like that. Well, there's a library right here, but I don't see any professors. Let's ask this guy. Hey, you! You seen anyone named Professor Heckle around here? Oh, sorry, lad, but, um, uh, there's no Professor Heckle here. This, uh, because it is pronounced Professor Heckle. You got it? Ah, British guy! He's British? Why didn't you tell me that? What? No, not British, Scottish. Anyway, what do you guys want? We're here to take you in because we need to round you all up into one place. What? Are you planning to exterminate me? Oh, I don't think so. You want to fight? Let's fight! <laughs> that won't be so easy, Professor Heagle. <laughs> because for you see, there's two of us. I can summon ghosts at any time. And only one you. And what are you going to do about it? Because <laughs> you're just a stupid British guy. For the last time, laddie. Not British. Scottish. <laughs> Whatever. <sighs> Hate to do this, but you leave me no choice. I think it's time you died. Oh, died, eh? Yeah, what are you gonna do about it? <sighs> this. <laughs> yes, I told you. It's time to die. Duh. Oh. You know, I was wondering what your thing would be, since you're a fighter, but, uh, um, uh, oh, oh my. <sighs> Dear Princess Soliana, first of all, once again, screw you for making me immortal, and secondly, today we had to fight a giant shape-shifting skeleton flaming man, who, uh, well, there's a good chance the mummy won't make it out alive. Hey! Okay, Mr. Skeleton Man, you think you're gonna scare me with your skull being on fire? Well... How about a little taste of my little friends? Go get him, gentlemen! <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> you thought that would be enough to defeat me? <laughs> you really are a dummy mummy. <laughs> 
My flames come from the pits of hell itself. The only fire hot enough to burn ghosts. Oh, 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 oh dear. Ah. Anyway, uh, once again, screw you, and, uh, we're, and, uh, the moment's probably gonna die. The end. Okay. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> Bring it. Uh, you take him, okay? Ugh, fine. So, uh, can we talk about this? Can we have, like, uh, some sort of conversation about this, or- No! Alright then, let's get dangerous. Alright, Frosty, tell me, who are we up against? What poor pitiful monster are we fighting? Mm, mm, yeah, I can take him. I've been itching for a good fight lately. Mm, yeah, mm, yeah. Alright, this file says his name is Emperor Tong. Hm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, where is he? Let's see, it says he's attracted to forests, things like that, and, uh... Oh, look, there he is. Oh, a big boy, huh? I used to be big, but even if I'm not big anymore, I can still take him. Yeah, let's do this! Whoa, 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 shouldn't we read about what he is first before we rush in? Uh, fine, what is he? Says he's a gigantic mutated howler monkey. Huh, a monkey? Yeah, I got it! Hey, monkey face! Yeah, I'm talking to you! Now, listen here. You are coming with us, okay? And don't make me have to kick your butt! I'll kick it six ways on Sunday if I have to. Do you know who I am? I am the Emperor of the Beast, and you are just a pathetic, lowly monkey. Uh, might. I, I, I've been reading this thing, and I think you might want to step back. Why? Remember what I said his species is? Why? What does that have to do with- ah! What was that? He has supersonic screams, dummy! Uh, you know, mutant howler monkey! I feel like that would come with the territory. You think a little screams could scare me? How about some radioactive breath? <laughs> okay, so a screen can repel projectiles. Fine, I won't give up! Ah! <laughs> I can't even get near him! He keeps pushing me away! Well, of course, we're small. That's kind of how physics work. It's gonna push us away. It's like a windstorm. Ugh, this won't work. We need something big. Alright, if there's one thing I've learned from watching every kaiju movie ever made, and being a kaiju, it's that kaiju are weak to robots. I don't think that's a set in stone. Shut up, it is! Well, do you know any giant robots? As a matter of fact, I do. Follow me. Okay, so, um... How do we find, uh, this guy, anyway? What's his name again? Fuzz Worthington. <laughs> That's a stupid name. Well, he is an imaginary friend, so he was probably created by someone pretty young, so... Yeah, I don't care. Anyway. Anyway, where could he be? Well, let's see. He's an imaginary friend, so he might be attracted to areas of high amounts of children. That sounds so wrong out of context. Aren't you a boogeyman, aka people who literally sneak into kids' rooms at night? Hey, shut up! Oh, whatever, you know I'm right. Hmm. Aha! Aha, I hear a bunch of children this way. I don't hear anything. Well, it's my special boogie senses. They allow me to pick out children from miles away. Again, that sounds so wrong. Oh, shut up. We, we just scare them. We don't... <sighs> whatever. Look at that. Hmm. <laughs> we got him now. All right, here's the plan. You distract him while I go in for the attack. <laughs> well, here goes nothing, I guess. Hey there, Pally. You want to tell Eduardo what's wrong? <sighs> Hello, Mr. and his puppet. Hey, I ain't a puppet. I'm Eduardo, and I am a British knight. I am brave and tough and strong, and if anything's bothering you, you can tell me what's wrong. I'm not talking to a puppet. I want to talk to the man with the puppet strings. Hey, 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 listen up. Listen up, okay? When I say you look at me, you look at me, okay? I'm not talking to a puppet! Hmm. You know, you're being very rude. Do I have to get Crookie out? Yeah, listen to him, say. You better listen to what the knights say, say. What? I don't know, say. All I know is, you need to come with us, say. But, why? Because, say, you- Ugh, that voice was so annoying, shut up! Hey, you just killed Crookie! That's it, time to bring out the big guns. Boogity, it's time! Hey. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Oh, oh, come on, come on, Bucket, you got it. Oh, oh, okay, that's a little too violent. Ow, ooh, ow, ooh, yeah, that's gonna leave some marks. Ow, ooh, ow, ooh, okay, ow, ooh. <sighs> I said leave me alone, and I said you're coming with us. <laughs> leave, <laughs> leave. <laughs> <laughs> Give me one good reason why I shouldn't bash your skull in through your teeth. Listen up, okay? We just want you to come with us because we need to gather up all the monsters into one place and... And what, kill them? Is that what you're going to do to me? Actually, considering what I did, that might be preferable. Okay, I'll come with you. We, hey, you hear that, Puppet Man? We got him. Oh, that's good. <laughs> oh, what's the matter? You sad you lost? No. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. It wasn't that humiliating of a loss. I said it's not because I lost! Alright, Roger. Where are you? I know you're around here somewhere. <laughs> Show yourself. Show yourself. Oh, you're looking for me? Uh, yeah. Where are you? I heard you're like some sort of flower. Well, that's one way of putting it. Surprise! You're a rose? I was a rose. Thank you very much. Well, okay. Listen, plant a plant, you need to come with me. Go with you? Why? The acoustics in this forest are great. They're incredible, even. Why would I ever want to go with you? Listen, you have to come with us, okay? Okay. Well, you know what, pumpkin boy? I think I could go for a nice slice of pumpkin pie right now. And I think I could use a nice bouquet to give to the missus. Are you even married? No, but if I had a wife, I'd give her to you. <laughs> I like your spunk, kid. We could team up and drive all the humans out of this place and make it a perfect plant utopia. Ah, uh, hmm. And where do pumpkins fall into this? Well, that's the best part. Pumpkins will be the second best right behind us roses. Second best? I don't think so. Oh, buddy. You have awakened a sleeping giant. So have you. Ah, the theater. A lot of good memories here. I remember one of my former masters was this old guy who was always like, I need the voice of an angel, so I gave it to him. Really helped his career. But then he kind of blew it on his second wish, and he wished he would become the world's most famous uh, opera singer, and then that uh, kind of went south. He never even got to use his third wish, let's just say. Ouch. Anyway, where is he? Where is he? Wait, you hear that? This way. <laughs> you shouldn't just lurk in doorways. It's rude, you know. Uh, hi. Are you Phantasia? Why, yes I am. Well, I am Arithicus, and this is Amelius, or whatever your name is. You can just call me Amelie. Okay, then. Okay, then. Amelius and Arithicus. It's very nice to meet you. So, do tell. What can I provide for you on this lovely day? Actually, we need you to come with us. What? And leave the theater? But a show should be starting any minute now. Uh, the theater's closed today. Exactly, I need to practice as much as I can. So, I need to practice as much as I can, so that I can be better when the next show starts. Look, you have to come with us, buddy. <sighs> tell you what. How about you sing for me, then I will come with you. You're kidding, right? <laughs> no, I'm dead serious. All right, Viren. Uh, our guy should be uh, here any moment now. How do you know that? I calculated his exact trajectory. If he left at exactly 11.25 a.m. and he was traveling this way going at approximately uh, 20 or so miles an hour, give or take, 20 or so miles an hour? Why would he be going fast? Well, I assume he might be running, and... Okay, but, but like, can humans even run that fast? Listen, I did math. What else do you want me to do about it? Shh. You hear that? All right, monster, get ready. <laughs> All right, whoever you are, show yourself. Great things. I am the Morlonator. Ah, oh, what are you, like a cybernetic human? Incorrect. I am a Morlock. What the heck is a Morlock? Ooh, ooh, I know, I know. Uh, they're, they're those guys uh, from the H.G. Wells stories, The Time Machine. Correct. What, what? 
So our developers put in a random monster from a story that nobody remembers. What are you talking about? It's like one of the most influential pieces of sci-fi literature ever, and it was a, and it was one of the biggest sources of speculative human evolution. Since these guys are basically of all forms of humans. Correct. Okay, but what's with the cybernetic parts? They are designed to make me ultimate killing machine. Hmm. Well, let's see how they do against me. Oh, what the? Oh, come on. How come I can't possess you? I can possess anything technological. Uh, Viren, I don't know how to tell you this, but, uh, nothing he has is giving off any sort of electrical current. What? But that's what I need to possess things. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but his energy, it's not electricity. Correct. I use futuristic energy disconnected from your primitive electricity. Well, that's bunk. Well, Mr. Virus Man, looks like you can't do anything. Well, how about we see whose science is better, past or future? Challenge accepted. All right, monster, fight! <laughs> Initiating self-defense, deploying stun grenades. <laughs> stun grenades? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, come on, come on, monster! Move, move, move! You cannot control him. He is stunned for up to a minute. That is how stun grenades work. Primitive simpleton. Simpleton? I'll have you know, I have at least ten different PhDs. Holy crap, how long were you in college for? Who said I was in college? Oh. Fine, I'll just take you on myself and- Activating pulse. <laughs> what did you just do? Why isn't my arm working? I disabled all technology on you, you simpleton. Ah, uh, you're a real jerk, you know that. Now as for you, Mr. Hologram, I am turning you off. I said I'm turning you off. You thought that would work? <sighs> Buddy, I am a being of pure electricity, and you can't turn that off. I'll try. You wanna go? Yes. All right, Rick. Stay vigilant. He is one tricky demon, believe me. <sighs> hey, you know, Michelle, I've been curious. You know, he's a demon. You're an angel. Do you guys have any sort of connection? Well, we did. A long time ago. Me and him, we go way back. But, uh, I don't want to talk about it. Well, why not? Because I don't. Well, okay, then. Hey, Michelle. What? How are you a monster anyway? Aren't angels like the opposite of monsters? Shut up, Rick. Yes. Y yes ma'am. Now, stay vigilant, because demons are sneaky. He could pop out at any- <laughs> Glad I could drop in! Well, 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 Lucy. It's- it's about time we met again. <laughs> well, eh, we didn't get a proper fight last time because that stupid virus sent me into a stupid gross-out video where I spent a long, agonizing time trying to figure out a way to escape. But guess what? I did. So now, I think it's time you owe me a real fight. Hey, what about me? Oh, what are you gonna do about it, calamari boy? Calamari boy? Oh, that is that. Well, looks like things just got interesting. <laughs> All right, you two. Bring it on. And so the angel, demon, and nightmare monstrosity ended up fighting all throughout the town, all throughout the land, kept going from state to state to state to state. They flew all around, basically. Uh, strangely, no one seemed to notice them because they were so high up in the air, but nothing anyone seemed to be doing seemed to be phasing anyone else. Eventually, as they kept clashing and clashing and clashing, they eventually started making their way towards the building where... <laughs> what the? Uh. So, you guys ready to give up? Never. Hey, 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 hey! What are you doing in my house? Uh, hello, Mr. Skeleton. This isn't about you, okay? Just go back to whatever you were doing and beat it. All right, all right. Listen here. You broke into my house. Now, you leave and fix that darn wall. Or what are you going to do about it, buddy? I am a demon. I am the most powerful monster on the planet. And what are you going to do about it, Buster Brown? Hmm. How about this? Whoa, you turned him into a toy. Yeah, I did. Now, are you going to fix the wall? 
I don't have any money on me. Now what about you, Angel? You turn people into idols over the slightest provocation? That seems kind of-